Hey everyone, this is Yodi. In trading, you have to take care of losses. The profit will take care of themselves, rightly said, right? So today's topic is what is drawdown and the unsung story and the three tips to recover from the drawdown. So drawdown means percentage of a capital a trader loses before bouncing up. Let's take an example to understand this in a better and a comprehensible manner. So let's say you were doing very good in trading and your capital fund in your account was growing very nicely. And then one day you entered in a rough patch, either you started to take some big losses or your strategy somehow stopped working either way. Losses has started eating up your capital and your account value starts to come down. And now in this case, maximum value of the account from where you started to see the decline would be called as peak and the subsequent low point from which you recovered back would be called as draw, right? And the percentage difference between these two points that is peak and the draw, it is called as drawdown. Drawdown in trading is very common. Every trader goes through drawdown phase. But the percentage of a drawdown is what is very important to understand. So 10 to 20% of the drawdown is very common. But deeper drawdown, let's say 40 to 50%, it could be very damaging to the account. As you can see from this table, the deeper the drawdown, the harder it becomes to get back to the normal, right? Severity of a drawdown will tell you more about your trading skills and reliability of your trading strategy which you have devised. Recovering from the loss drawdown or a several losses involves a lot of time and it can be very emotionally draining as well. Statically speaking, the returns required to recover from a drawdown will increase as the drawdown increases. Okay, So there is common misconception, especially among the beginner traders, they think that if you suffer 50% of the drawdown, you will need to make 50% to recover your equity. That's false. You would need 100% of the return just to bring your equity back to the break-even point. By any standard of measurement, that's a lot. So drawdown really matters. Short-lived drawdowns, they are acceptable and they are manageable. But you don't want to end up in a situation where single trade wipes out 50% of your account or even worse, right? And as you can see from this table, the math just turns really ugly from the 60% drawdown point onwards, right? From 60 points drawdown, the math really turns ugly. You need to have 150% returns to get back to the break-even point, right? Now, question arises, what causes drawdown? So, there are actually three common reasons why traders usually experience drawdown. The first and the foremost, a, a very common reason is that traders, they start to take big losses that wipe out most of their previous profits. Sometimes there are few trades, sometimes just even one day of bad trade can wipe out significant amount of capital. Now, the second possibility is that trader can be experimenting with new strategies or maybe trying out new instruments for trading because he or she must have not mastered any instrument and they are experiencing drawdown, right? For example, uh, trader X actively traded in BNF future, Bank Nifty future before he jumped into Nifty options. So transition from Bank Nifty to Nifty and of course from futures to options, it will take quite a lot of time to figure out the thing and during that time he may experience drawdown which is very normal to expect right now the third possible reason for drawdown is market condition market condition may have changed so the strategies which you uh, have devised used to work earlier may not be working in this market condition right so these are the three causes of the drawdown in trading you need to be emotionally neutral rather than taking every losing trade personally so, here are the three trading tips you should use to help you recover from the drawdown. The first is know the maximum drawdown of your trading strategy. Through effective backtesting by Backenzo, you can actually discover the maximum drawdown of your trading strategy. Here it is mentioned in the backtesting report of the Backenzo, maximum drawdown. This will mentally prepare you for them. If a trader learns how to develop 
an awareness of what will happen to his account during the drawdown period he will have a mental capacity to cope with the drawdown and stick with trading strategy through these tough times right the second trick to handle the drawdown is cut back your position size another thing you can do to cope with the painful reality of a drawdown is to risk per trade or the position size legendary richard dennis thought the turtles to handle the drawdown when drawdown occurred legend richard dennis would reduce the trading size from 2% down to 1.6% they would continue to cut back their position size if the drawdown was extending this preventive action is for self preservation of your capital learn it and use it in your favor the third is the last drawdown trading tip is increase your risk reward ratio a positive and a big risk to reward ratio is a part of every successful trading system to escape a drawdown faster you need to increase your risk and reward ratio with risk reward ratio of 1 is to 3 you can escape drawdown period very pretty fast even if your win rate is still somehow very low if you can make a pact with yourself and not flinch in face of adversity when your risk toleration is reached your daily mental battle is half won so i hope you like this video what is drawdown and the unsung story of a drawdown and the three tips to handle drawdown if yes don't forget to smash like button bye bye stay tuned